What is up, fam? It's your big bro, Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. Okay, I have another pick a card reading for you guys. First and foremost, I want to thank you guys for being patient with me in the readings. Um, I got a little busy and now I'm back, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy this pick a card reading. This is going to be what's coming for you. Like what's coming, what's going on around you, you feel me? Is it going to be a trick or is it going to be a treat? You know what I'm saying? Uh, as uh, the month that we're in, October, I figured to do a little Halloween theme for the people who are into that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is going to be what's coming for you. Is it going to be a trick or is it going to be a treat? Okay. We have three different piles. The first pile is going to be represented by the record. Okay. This is pile group number one, the record. Group number two is going to be the macaroons. And group number three will be the clock. All right, you guys could uh, pause the video here and see which one of these resonates the most with you. You can pick one, you can pick two, you can pick all of them and see which one resonates with you the most. Let's go ahead and get into the first group. All right, if you guys have selected group number one, the record, this is gonna be a reading. We're gonna see what's coming for you, okay? Is it a trick or is it a treat? Let's go ahead and clear the energy out before we get started here. All right, let's see what we got for you guys. We got, oh, let me start on the, we have energy. <clears throat> Pregnancy. Be yourself. Summer. Okay, let's start with those. Let's see what we got right here. We got energy, pregnancy, be yourself, and summer. Okay, so the literal uh, meaning that I'm first pulling off from the pregnancy card, it says... Uh, the birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world. So you guys, some of you guys, this is not going to be for every single person, but for some of you guys, you may have maybe fertile during this season around this time, or you may, you may also already be pregnant and giving birth, or there may be someone in your family or within your circle who's, uh, getting ready to give birth or who's giving birth. Or this could just be, um, signifying that you guys are starting a brand new journey for yourself and uh this is a, a new leaf a new page is being turned for you guys okay spirit is telling y'all that things are getting ready to uh brighten up for you guys in some area of your life with this summer energy here it says fun in the sun happiness and lighthearted times are ahead i know that here in um the americas we are going into fall season we're in fall right but uh, this is just the energy, right? Hell, some of y'all, y'all might be in different seasons. I don't know. I'm not going to go into that, but, uh, this is just a signifier that things are getting ready to brighten up for you. For some of you guys, you may be feeling like, uh, the energy around you is changing. It's like if something has, if you've been, if you find yourself caught up in a, a, a karmic cycle or a period of your life to where I just saw two, two, two on my timer, but if that means anything to anybody, but you guys may have found yourself in like these repeating cycles where you were not able to get off the proverbial uh, hamster wheel or things were just monotonous and like uh, boring and just same old, same old every day, every, one day after the next, same old, same old, nothing really changing or nothing really going the way that you wanted it to go. But this summer energy is letting you know that, uh, the sun is coming out for you in some situation or there's going to be a uh, potential movement in some area of your life that's been stuck, that's been stagnant. Either way, the energy is overall with this energy. I was going to say the energy energy <laughs> with this energy card. It's just signifying that the energy around you guys may be changing during this time. OK, the overall vibes, the feelings like what do you like how are you feeling or, or even 
uh, the potential of what you can manifest or what you can receive or pathways or doors that it may be opening up or opportunities that may be opening up. OK, spirit is telling y'all with these changes, this is signifying change, right? There's some sort of change like I, I'm getting looking at the record. I'm getting a broken record, right? And you're getting a brand new record to play, which is a brand new tune, a brand new energy that's coming into your life in uh, some uh, area of your life. OK, um, it says be yourself. All right. It says this, this situation, that's a confirmation right there to be yourself. That's going to be very, very important and imperative for you guys that during this time is for you to be yourself. Just march to the beat of your own drum. Uh, follow your own lead. Don't follow behind anybody. There's going to, there, there is, I'm picking up that there's going to be some situations. There's going to there's gonna be some decisions that have to be made, right? That can take your life in either one direction or another, or even it could be multiple directions, but there are some decisions that are going to need to be made. Um, but it, it is okay for you guys. While it's okay for you guys to get advice from people, ultimately you're going to be the one that's going to be, uh, you gonna want to be the one that's uh, that has to make the decision for yourself based off of what you want, based off of what your heart is telling you to do, based off of what uh, resonates for you, and based off of what just what what speaks to you. You know what I'm saying? You have to. There's gonna be. Uh, I'm getting a turning point. Something is gonna take place. Some door is gonna open up. You may get some sort of offer for some of you guys. You may get some something is gonna happen to where you're gonna have to make a decision. This could even just come down to you making a decision to uh, to let yourself free, uh, let go of the past or or flow with this new energy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That, that could be a turning point for you as well. Like, OK, do I stay with on the same broken record or do I um, listen to a different tune? Do I start telling myself, you know, start being more optimistic, start being more happy or start, you know, being more lighthearted and, and aligning myself with that energy as well. Right. It's going to be like it's up to you, you know, but we got to be yourself. It says this situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is a basis for your personal power. The more you stand it within your power and be yourself, the more strong you are. Right. The more. Um, I'm getting some mental energy here. The more that you're able to make uh, better decisions for yourself, the more that you're able to break through the the clouds and you more they're able to see things and more clarity comes to your life, the more you you know you walk into your authenticity. And the more things when you walk into your authenticity, the more things are gonna align for you is what I'm getting here, right? It's the more you you putting yourself in alignment means that other things like that's put you putting yourself in alignment internally. That means that things will start aligning externally. You feel me? So let's see what else we got here. We have you will get married before the year has passed some agreement or union of friendship, love or business is indicated here. So you guys may very well see yourself uh partnering with somebody okay this could be a literal marriage for some people okay um if you've been in, if you've been already engaged you could be uh, finally going through with the ceremony or this could be you meeting someone who uh could be that potential long-term relationship type partner you know what i'm saying that you might have been seeking or maybe you haven't been seeking maybe maybe it's going to be a surprise for you you feel me um this could also be that you're meeting people of your soul tribe or people who that's going to be with you for a while, like long term friendships as well. People who get you, understand you, you know who you're on the same frequency with. OK, um, and then in business area, this could be you uh, partnering with a, another partner in business or this could be you getting a new job, you know, with a new company. Um, yeah, this could be uh, uh, like a money make some type of money making opportunity that could be coming for you guys as well okay so let's see what else we got here for y'all we have unicorn okay so the unicorn is, is telling you to indulge your creative imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression i feel that by you tapping into your creative side right now it's gonna open up i, I i'm getting that people in this group, okay, that you guys in this group may have had, may have been had some stuck and stagnant um, energies that you've been dealing with, right? Like being on the hamster wheel, being uh, things just 
uh, just re- being repeating, repeating over and over, like being bored. You know what I'm saying? Like things, or, or not even bored, but just you no. Know, for yeah, for some of y'all, y'all could have just been bored. You feel me? But some of you guys, you could have been in a state of where like um, you had a certain routine that you stuck to. Um, you were on autopilot because everything every day goes the same way. You go to the you go to this place, you go to that place, you go home, you go to this place, go, you know, just the same thing over and over and over and over. And spirit is telling y'all here to indulge your creative, uh, cre- uh, creative, imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression. So this is you again, tapping into that, um, uh, um, I'm touching my heart space. So this is like touch, like tapping into what you really want, right? You're, um, your heart center, right? You're working with your, uh, with your heart chakra. You feel me? Um, this is like, what, what are you really, if you could do anything you wanted to do in the world, well, what, without any limitations, what would you do? You know what I'm saying? It's you allowing your, your mind to roam free. It's allowing your mind to just, um, work unlimited, right? Take, taking all the caps and, um, all that off of your mind and just letting your mind run free, like with your creative imagine, uh, um, imagination, you know what I'm saying? Like tapping back into that inner child to where anything is possible, you know? Um, and this is also letting you know that a creative expression, something that is that you create, right? This could be a gift or ability or talent or skill that you have, right? You might know how to sing. You might know how to write. You might know how to build things, right? You might be great with writing you know you may be great with building computers or whatever it is you feel me that could be for somebody with well with computers you may be gifted with fixing computers as well or something like that electronics this is you expressing something that's a natural uh a natural gift within yourself that is going to open up a lot of doors for you and, and help to change the stagnant energy that you may have around you that you need to break free from and to allow some new brand new energy to come in. So make sure that you guys are allowing yourself to uh, creatively uh, express yourself, right? Whatever it is you want to do, you know, Uh, find something to do that's going to be that's going to make you happy and you're just going to enjoy doing, you know, we have number seven. This is feathers talks about messages. Okay, this is letting me know that you guys, your spirit team is also there with you as well. Or whatever you guys resonate with is there with you as well. Um, You are being advised here to pay attention to messages that you receive during this time. Pay attention to signs, synchronicities, angel numbers, uh, messages and numbers on the back of like license plate, billboards. Hell, it could be somebody saying something out of the, you know, saying something to somebody else. Like saying a phrase to somebody else that, that that rings a bell with you internally, you know what I'm saying? But pay attention. Your spirit team is actually sending you messages right now to make sure that you're on the right path and to also to give you motivation during this time period to push you forward and so that you are not afraid of breaking, breaking um, through the norm, okay? Yeah, because I I feel like they um your spirit team is wanting you to experience something new is what I'm getting. To actually allow yourself to, um, I'm getting you allow yourself to just be yourself, right? To to do something that you want to do for once in your life, okay? Is what I'm hearing for somebody, because. I'm here, somebody, and this may not resonate for everybody, but somebody out there may be used to listening to other people, right? Listening to your mom, listen to your father, your parents, your friends, your peers, whatever it is, your boss, whatever, that's telling you, oh, you should do this, you should do, you should do that, da da da, you know, and not allowing you to uh, really follow your own path that is meant for you to follow, you know? Uh, but your spirit team is wanting you to follow your own path this time, wanting you to do something that that you've been wanting to do that you've put on the back burner or uh, that you feel other people may not um, resonate with or may not understand. This is so, but some that makes you feel free, you know, something that sets you free and that puts you in full alignment with yourself. Right. Uh, so pay attention to the messages that you may be uh, receiving during this time. This is also a dream message as well you may be receiving messages in your dream as well we got a lion you see how that lion is roaring 
your spirit team is wanting you to go out there and roar, roar if I can say the word right, wanting you to go out there and roar as well and just live your life, have courage, be courageous, uh, have strength and be fearless in being yourself. You know what I'm saying? And doing what you want to do. So the lion says, harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently, right? This is you having, knowing that you have spirits protection around you at all times and knowing that you're being, you're, you're, you're actually being, uh, what do you call it? What's that word? You're being encouraged. Okay. You are being encouraged to, to go ahead and do something that you've been putting on a back burner. Something that you, you've been wanting to do that you, that other people may think is stupid or they may think is, Oh my God, I don't understand this. Why are you doing this? Why are you ending this career for that? Da, da, da. But this is for you to, to start doing something that makes you happy or that speaks to you. Okay. So we have open mind here. Yeah, spirit wants you to keep an open mind, right? To not like limit yourself, right? There's an open door that's coming too for you guys, an opportunity that's coming for you guys. And uh, when this opportunity presents itself to you in whatever form it shows up, spirit wants you to have an open mind about it, okay? And not necessarily to shun it, right? And especially when it comes to you doing something that you really want, truly want to do that speaks to you, all right? Persevere, right? Yeah, persevere. You see, we have the tortoise in the hair that's tortoise in the hair story yeah persevere just because other people around you may be speeding and zooming towards their goals or living a best life the game is not over and it's not that it's a game but the show is not over for you you feel me um persevere keep going because the more you keep going um, I'm, I'm hearing that somebody may have tried, you may have tried to do something that didn't work out for you and people told you, ah, you know, I told you, you shouldn't go down that path. Spirit is telling you to keep going. Okay. Don't give up on yourself and what you want to do. And there's, you guys very well may be aligning yourself with this new beginning for yourself and whatever you're doing that is a part of your creative, uh, self-expression. Okay. Whether it is, uh, you getting in a, into a marriage with a wealthy person or person that has uh, earns more money than you in some sort of way that you can, it can afford you, uh, different things in life than you had before. Okay. Or you're getting a new job or whatever it is. Spirit is sending you to share the wealth in whatever way that speaks to you. So share the wealth is going to be different for all of us. You feel me? Some people share the wealth is just you sharing your knowledge, sharing your time, your gifts, your abilities. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for some people it could be literally sharing your wealth, like buying somebody a meal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, donating something to somebody, you know what I'm saying? But so that's going to, that's going to be whatever that means to you. Okay. And then we have the magician number one. Okay. And this card is a unicorn again, yo, we got a unicorn here and a unicorn here. So this is a very, very auspicious time for you guys right now. If you, if you don't realize that there is magic in the air, you can manifest everything you need to be successful. Your, uh, manifestation abilities, it's very, very potent right now. So spirit one shot to make sure that's why you're being asked and you're being um, guided to uh, use your creative imagination, your creativity to create magic. That's you seeing yourself doing things that you've always wanted to do, feeling that, putting that emotion out into the universe, feeling that, seeing yourself doing things you want to do, uh, seeing yourself being in a, if you want a relationship, seeing yourself being in a relationship, okay, with somebody who's equally yoked with you you know what i'm saying who is compatible with you as well right or moving somewhere having another job starting a business whatever it is right the spirit is wanting y'all to focus on manifesting that right now that's going to be very very imperative so you may very well find yourself having a treat you know around this time when you're watching this reading whenever you watch the reading okay so that's what i got for you guys in this group if you like it like the video subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and if this resonated please comment in the comment section down below and let me know how you feel about it we're gonna move on to group number two all right if you guys have selected the macaroons this is gonna be your reading we're gonna see what's coming up for you is it a trick or is it a treat let's go ahead and clear the energy from the last reading all right, let's see what we got popping for group number two. We have comfort. Let go.
Uh, Love Returns. Wow. Let's see where this is going right now. Okay, so let, let's deal with these three right now. And I'm going to pull the other cards in a, in a second, right? Okay, so comfort, right? You guys, there is somebody, okay, with comfort and love returns, right? It says a past love or crush has bad intentions. A past love or crush has bad intentions. This is somebody that is coming back or planning to come back into your life, right? This is somebody that you know. Whether you whether you uh, had a good experience with them or a bad experience with them, right? This is somebody who you know, and there's some uh, level of familiarity that you have with this person. With this comfort energy here, Spirit is sending you guys to keep yourself in a safe environment, right? Because I feel like this person with these bad intentions, they have the potential to pull you out of alignment, Okay, and I feel like you guys are in alignment with manifesting too, just like group number one. Okay, uh, but this person has the ability to come back and just ruin your progress that you've made. Okay, thus far, and whatever it is you're doing, you could be on a an awesome career path with yourself, or you could have been doing inner work with yourself, been been making uh, a lot of awesome progress. This person will come back and uh, destroy that progress that you've made. That's why spirit wants you to. Protect your energy, protect your space during this time, right? Um, that person cannot come back unless you allow them to come back. So you have the authority, you know what I'm saying, to say no to this person, especially if this person could potentially infringe on your uh, safety, your stability, okay, and your a level of comfort that you've a level of comfort and safety and uh, peace and serenity that, that you've created for yourself. Okay, so you're gonna be very, you're gonna want to be very, very cognizant about that, about who you let return back into your life during this time, especially if you have red flags from this person. If, in, let's say, in the past you didn't have a good ending with this person, or they behaved in a negative type of way, you already know what this person is about. You know what I'm saying? And and I feel with this. Energy here, this past love or crush, you know what this person is about, right? You and you know how far you've come. Some of you guys have had some of you guys when this person left your life, okay? Some of you guys had a tough time separating yourself or or healing from the situation or letting completely letting the person go. Some of you guys are still a little tinge of something, a little tinge of a soft spot that you might have for this person, even though if you know that they're not no good for you. That's why Spirit is telling you to let go. OK. All right. Do not give this person a pass to come back into your life. It says as you surrender the need to control. Your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. Yes. Okay. It says, it, uh, let go of the need to control the situation or even to, because some of you guys may uh, see this person coming back and you might want to get revenge. And that might not be for everybody. Okay. You might want to try again because you may think the person has changed. But this is telling you to let go of the past and move on to the future. Right. Because the more you surrender, and you let this situation go and you and you stop trying to control the situation or, or trying to make it work. Right. Because that's a part of control, too. Right. That's in that whole category of control is you trying to make something work that probably doesn't need to be working. You feel me with the Mac rooms here? You see, we have different Mac rooms. We have the, the fuchsia or the magenta or the pink for some people. OK, we have the blue. We got the brown, we got the uh, the green, we got the yellow. You got different options. So Spirit is telling y'all that there's plenty of fish out in the sea. You feel me? Hell, for some of y'all, this could be, uh, this love returns. This could be some uh, something platonic too for some people. But it's uh, very heavily coming back as a uh, past crush or love. A cr uh, crush, if I can say it right. Like an associate. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that you didn't get with, but you may have had a crush on it. And maybe they chose somebody else over you. You know what I'm saying? But the Spirit is telling y'all there's plenty of fish in the sea, right? This is not the only person that you can be with. So the Spirit wants you to open your eyes and see that, right? Especially if this person has already been in your life before. If they've already uh, disappointed you before, okay? If they've already let you down before and shown you uh, what you don't want. Because I'm, I'm getting that some of you guys, this person showed y'all which I don't want, Okay? 
So you already know what you need to know with this individual. So Spirit is wanting you to let go and move forward, okay? Uh, the next card out we have is a surprise will be received within a week. This will bring you much happiness. So be on the lookout for something, something good, um, a good occurrence. It could be a positive message that you receive from somebody. It could be that you walk outside and you find some money on the ground, right? It could be anything. This is a surprise. So look forward to something good happening for you, right? A surprise within a week that's going to bring you a lot of happiness or just make you smile, make you feel good, and maybe uh, lift in your uh, overall uh, mood, right? Let's see what else we got here. We have the manatee, okay, for your animal uh, oracle. So it says, accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. See what I'm talking about? This is still telling you to let go of this situation. This could be somebody who you uh, you may have genuinely cared about, loved, whatever it is, whoever this person is, whether it's platonic or whether it's romantic, but it's telling you to, or it could be a situation or whatever, person, place, or thing, let it go. Accept the situation as it is. And, I'm, and, and with that, I'm also getting that whatever this situation is, whoever it could be, this person does not change. They are who they are, right? Sometimes we want people to uh, let's say we wanted something to work with another person or we wanted something to work where, wherever, right? And it didn't work out and we ended it. And then when the person comes back, we may want them to be different. We, 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 we may wish that that distance that we had or that time that we had off from that person, that that person realized your importance, right? And, and made some necessary changes within themselves so that they can come back and do right by you. But spirit is saying that some people don't change, right? And that's what I'm getting with this person is like they're coming back with not good intentions. They're coming back with bad intentions. So this person is potentially coming back to harm you, hurt you, disappoint you, break your heart, do something. It's not good. You feel me? So we have to, regardless of how good the person may look, regardless of how sexy they may be, how tempting the offer may be, we have to keep that into consideration. It says bad intentions and not good intentions, okay? Let's see what else we got here. We got number 10, coins. Good luck. You guys have a lot of good luck around you. That's why Spirit wants you to use this good luck to your advantage. And I feel like um, the only way this good luck can come through is you letting go of a past situation. This could be residual energy. And that residual energy could also include uh, grudges, uh hurt, pain, you know what I'm saying? Disappointment that you may feel from a, a person or a situation. We have to let all that stuff go. We have to push ourselves and move ourselves towards a place of healing, a place of uh, forgiving a person, forgiving yourself, you know what I'm saying? And healing from it and moving forward, right? And not, you know, and, and always know that forgiving doesn't mean that you forgive the person and you forget the offense and you put yourself back into that, that same situation. That's not what this is about. It's about you forgiving that person so that you can let go of that residual energy and you can let go of the chains and the, the energetic cord or the etheric cord that you have attached to that person in whatever interaction that you guys have had, guys have had or whatever relationship that you had together, connection that y'all had together. This is you peacefully breaking it and uh, allowing yourself to heal, taking the time too, right? Don't be in a rush because I've been coming across people that want instant results when it comes to breaking energetic or etheric cords or soul ties. They want instant results. And most of the time, there's not an instant result. You know what I'm saying? That's soul ties run very, very deep, right? And just like that pain you felt when that relationship ended or whatever it was ended, you got to realize that it's going it, to, it, it's like somebody stuck a knife in your leg. You feel me? You, you're not just going to snatch it out. You know what I'm saying? You have to gradually ease it out, right? So you don't cause too much more damage, you know, to the situation. So a lot of these things are going to be you uh, turning away from it and uh, being patient with yourself. I'm hearing be patient with yourself. Be easy on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself for what took place. Don't blame yourself for what happened. Get out of that type of energy and um, allow yourself to heal from the connection. Okay, let's see what else we got here for you. We have thorns. All right, so we have, it says, weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new 
and positive future. You see what I'm talking about, y'all? Y'all gotta, y'all got this situation may be chock full of thorns, right? Because this person, this person coming back on the scene may trigger old wounds, trigger old feelings, right? Trigger old um, emotions or or, or uh, scenarios that you may have be playing over in your head, like. Why did I let them do this to me? Why did I stay there? Why did I, you know, why didn't I see this? Why didn't I, th you know, it, it's going to bring that, may bring that residual energy up again. It may cause you to blame yourself or it may cause you to, uh, for some people to want to fix it. You feel me? As an easy way out to like not process the, I just saw 11, 11. Okay. Uh, that means something to somebody. Eleven, eleven. Okay, that might be. You may need to look up that angel number as well. But this is a window, an opportunity with eleven, eleven for me to move beyond this, to move beyond the pain, to move beyond uh, the wounds that this situation might have inflicted upon you. You know what I'm saying? When you were going through it, right? This is you giving you an opportunity to step through this time period and, and completely let go of the situation and move forward and move towards uh, uh, a brand new and, and more and a more exciting uh, new experience for yourself with other people, with another person, with the places, things, you know, having brand new experiences that will be good for you because you have good luck that's surrounding you. All right. And you have a positive and bright future that is surrounding you, okay, or that is here for you to experience if you choose to let go of the past and move forward, right? But then again, you know, that's up to you. We have love. Yes, this is all about love. This is about uh, what you wanted with another person. You may have to process that. And you, may, and you have to, I'm hearing, you have to tell yourself and you have to know that, uh, you weren't wrong for trying to love another person, right? So never be afraid of love in general because you had a bad experience. That bad experience was between you and that specific person, right? Not everybody in the world, right? So we have to keep that into perspective as well as like just because you had a, a difficult, a strange, awkward love experience or whatever with another person doesn't mean that that's that same thing is going to play uh, over and over and over again with other people. Right. Spirit is trying to have you to leave this situation completely. Right. And some of y'all, it could just be simply because because you. You may be still going to this person's uh, social media page, watching what they're doing or trying to get updates on them or thinking about them or texting them, talking to anything like that. Right. We need to so we want you to cut all that stuff out. You feel me? And move forward because there's love for you moving forward too. there's a there's an I'm hearing an, an intoxicating, a magical love moment and experience with a brand new person. That is meant for you to experience, okay? Um, this is one that will be lucky for you. One that you'll be able to build with your person. Your person may be somebody who's an entrepreneur. This is for not for everybody, but I'm getting picking up entrepreneurial. If I can say the word right, if I could say it right, entrepreneurial. Uh, this person may be a boss. They may be somebody who is good with money. They may come from money. Something like that, right? It's, this is somebody who has everything they need. But they want to get that love. You feel me? They want that true love type of connection with another person is what I'm picking up. Right. This that that the whole entrepreneur bossing may not be true for everybody. It may not resonate with every single person. But this is somebody too with the coins, somebody who's stable. It's going to be a good luck um, experience for you. Like you meeting, finally meeting the right person like, damn. I finally met the right one, you know, uh, someone who I could, who, who were on the same page, were equally yoked, uh, who, uh, that we could build together with and have something that is actually solid, uh, some that we could build. I'm hearing that song, Sol solid, solid as a rock. I'm just hearing that song, solid as a rock. You know, it's like you finally meeting somebody to where, uh, and you see on this card right here, we have the, we have a, a penny. And then we have a dime right there, right? So this is saying that the situation has a potential to uh, steadily grow and move forward, right? That's like you guys being associates, acquaintances, moving on to a friendship, and then moving on to like 
you know, dating, moving into lovers, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's, um, it shows that progression and, and, and that progression could keep going on and on and on and on to marriage. You know what I'm saying? It has that potential with the new person, not the old one. Okay. With somebody new, if you hold yourself in high regard, um, love yourself enough to want the best for yourself. Okay. And to create the best for yourself. Right. <clears throat> I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you owe it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? To, to experience something of this magnitude, you know what I'm saying? Something that actually goes right for once, you know, you owe it to yourself. Right. And I see, uh, two people. Okay. The potential of two people, um, or two situations or hell, like I said, it could be a friend, lover, a situation. Hell, it could even be a job for somebody, but I see the potential for two, two, um, entities, right. Who are attracted and drawn to each other. There's a lot of chemistry, a lot of, a lot of magnetism between the two that's pulling them together. Right. So this could be very, very, very indicative of a, a uh, soulmate or higher level soul connection between you and an another person as well. Okay. That has that potential that is there as well. Look, lucky you guys are lucky right now, right? Don't let nobody from the past. You don't already went through that situation. You don't already had that experience with that person. You don't have to replay that, especially when, especially when you got all your ducks, all your ducks, your spirit team is like, we, we, we helping you get all your ducks in a row lined up. Don't let this person come around and knock all your ducks down. You feel me? No, not, not, knock down all of your, uh, progress. It says, please stand by. Y'all may need to leave this person, leave that person from the past on standby. You feel me? Like not even engage with them. Leave them on, leave them on red. You feel me? They send you that text message. You open it. You see it if you want to. And you just let, leave it like that. You feel me? It is what it is. It is what it is. We have eight of autumn. Something may be popping off for you guys in this autumn. If you are in the U S um, this autumn season or whenever autumn shows up for you guys, wherever you are, this talks about, this is a parrot. Okay. For your animal tarot card. This is a parrot. Okay. You guys might like parrots. Your new person might like birds or parrots, exotic birds, tropical birds and whatnot. Right. Um, it says it's the perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school, taking a seminar or conducting research, do your best work. And the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. Wow. So for somebody here, this is not only you have the potential for career advancement. This is by you studying uh, something, you know what I'm saying, that you're interested in. Um, this could even be a, like a side hustle or hobby or something that's going to turn out to your benefit. Okay. The more you learn about it, the more you find, to, the more you learn the ins and out of it and you find out like what you need to do. This could uh, really put you in um, that energetic alignment to where things just start popping off for you. Things one by one, things starts happening for you. This, when I get the career advancement uh, uh, energy as well, it also puts me in a uh, line. It puts me, puts me in the mind of a relationship, right? Because I don't know why I can, why I put relationship, job, like those all different uh, meanings that you could have it, right? And I see this by you guys learning to love yourself, learning to take care of your body, showing your body love, showing yourself love, caring for yourself, holding yourself in high regard, setting strong boundaries for yourself and not letting anybody, doesn't matter who they are, letting anybody trample over those uh, boundaries. The more you do that, the more you put yourself in, in a higher uh, vibration and you put yourself in alignment with what spirit has for you, the gifts, the blessings, you know, that are meant to come to you. And that is going to put you in alignment with, um, with the law of attraction and make it easier for you to manifest, right? Because you're not dealing with all this heavy, dark energy and this baggage weighing you down. The more you free yourself, I'm getting the more you, uh, lighten your load, the more you put yourself into alignment 
with uh, your manifestation abilities and you're able to manifest better. Yeah, I'm hearing somebody too. Don't get offended, but I'm here for somebody. It's also you taking care of your body, losing those extra pounds finally, because if this resonates with you, you've been wanting to lose weight. You feel me? Losing that extra weight and putting your body into a more healthier state for yourself to where you feel different. You feel me? Because sometimes when we, I don't know about y'all, but for me too, it resonates with me. When you put on extra weight, sometimes it, it knocks you out of uh, this energetic um, balance. You feel me? And knocks, I don't know about y'all, but if I gain extra weight, it kind of makes me, I don't feel good. You feel me? And I feel better when it's off, you know? So that could resonate for somebody as well. We have Ace of Spring. Something could pop off for you guys in the springtime as well. Okay. Or this is a the time for something to bloom, something to blossom for yourself. Okay. This is the white tiger. Okay. White tigers or tigers in general may resonate with you guys. Okay. It could be a spirit, a spirit animal. Hell, even a parrot could be a spirit animal for you guys as well. Okay. Um, one second. <clears throat> we have a wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It may have come as a surprise. Oh my God. Yo, did you, you guys see this? You guys see this right here? <clears throat> we have a surprise will be received within a week. For everybody I know, it may not be a week, it may be a little longer, depending on. See, when we when we get time uh based cards, that depends on where you are in your timeline, right? Or and also what energy, you know what I'm saying, that you're 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 exuding and that you that you're vibrating and broadcasting at, right? Because you could broadcast that pushing things away from you, pushing uh opportunities away from you, you know, pushing uh breakthroughs away from you, you know what I'm saying, pushing blessings away from you, right? So you have to be cognizant of those factors also, right? When it comes to time-based cards. But this is a wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It may come as a surprise. You, but you'll still, you, <laughs> you, but you'll still want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility. So this is telling y'all, when y'all get the opportunity, when that train pulls up to the station, make sure that you jump on it. You jump on every opportunity that you want to jump on. Uh, when it strike when the iron is hot is what I'm getting for you guys. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys for this reading. If you like it, like the video. Yeah, I, I, I feel like this is a, a combination of trick and treat. You feel me? Somebody trying to give you a trick, but we're going to flip it. We're going to skip, jump right on over that trick, and we're going to get on to the treats and enjoy our lives, okay? I don't know about y'all, but y'all let me know in the comment section what you're going to do, right? You want that trick or you want that treat? And it's so funny I'm using the word trick, so that person may come with a bag of tricks, and they may be a trick, you feel me? But anyways, thank you guys for watching this reading. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated for you, please comment in the comment section down below and let me know how you feel about it. We're going to move on to group number three. All right, if you guys have selected group number three, the clock, this is going to be your reading. We're going to uh, see what's coming up for you. Is it a trick or is it a treat? Let's go ahead and clear the energy out as well. All right, let's see what we got going on here for you guys. We have isolation. Marriage. And attack. Wow. Wow, bro. Wow, bro. What is this? So we got isolation marriage and attack so attack says be careful of an unexpected sneak attack from someone around you okay you guys you guys may either be spending time in isolation from somebody or you may need to spend time in isolation from somebody let me look at these other cards because this oh oh Mm. Okay. All right, you guys. So <clears throat> we have some gossip you hear about yourself will make you unhappy. 
getting throat chakra stuff here. But now all of a sudden my throat wants to itch. <clears throat> Some gossip you hear about yourself will make you unhappy or annoyed. Disappointment from someone you respect, right? There's somebody around you who may hit you with a with a sneak attack, right? That's this person that's for this is somebody that you got you got uh, some love for you. Feel me? When I say you got love for, I mean that you got a level of respect for this person, right? You're not like you don't look at them in a negative way, right? <clears throat> you may even uh with this marriage card right here, this may even be somebody. Okay, it says the fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. This may be somebody who's trying to keep you away from partnering with other people or finding a new a new love even. This could be an ex. This could be um, just somebody around you who doesn't want something good to happen for you, right? This may be somebody who you've been, um, have a little distance in between with this isolation card here. You may not have been speaking with them on a regular basis, but there may have been some time apart that you've had with this individual. <clears throat> Hell, for some of y'all, this could be somebody that you've been married with or attached to in some way or another, right? Whether it's a a long-term a marriage or a long-term relationship or whether it's a a friendship or whether it's even a family member, you know what I'm saying? Um there's somebody who you've been somebody some somebody here within this group may have been going through a divorce or may find some information out that might cause you to split from somebody, okay? Or this is somebody who you've already split from and you hear um and you thought it was amicable between you and that person, but you they turn around and, and, and you, you find out they're talking crap behind you, uh, behind your back, or making things more uh, worse or stressful for yourself, okay? This group right here is a diff completely different energy from the other two, okay? Right off the bat, it's right out the gate, it's a different energy from the other two groups, right? This is somebody disappointing you, right? And I feel like this message is coming up because... Uh, Spirit wants you to be ready to not be so shocked, right? To just, I'm here and take things at face value. Take it for what it is and, and try your best to accept the situation once it takes place. And to not, try your best to not let it affect you uh, too too much or stop you or, or, or try to, uh, what do you call it? Affect your inner peace too much, okay? To... Yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah, it might happen, right? You might find out something about somebody been talking crap about you behind your back, that who you respected. But at the same time, it's like, okay, yeah, accept it for what it is and you keep living your best life, right? Don't let the enemy or let people who, who put themselves in those kind of spaces, right? You could be could have been cool today, but tomorrow they chose to be an op or an enemy. Don't let them steal your joy is what I'm getting, right? That's why this message is coming up for because somebody is trying to steal your joy, trying to take that from you, right? We got Wolverine. <clears throat> and this, your animal spirit is Wolverine today. And this card says, you're a lot tougher than you think you are, period. So this is not, if, if you guys are getting scared or you're getting like anxious or like, oh my God, that, that spirit says, don't worry about it. You're, 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 you're tougher, you're stronger, you're more resilient than you realize it, right? So this is, this is going to be a piece of cake for you. That's what I'm getting here. This ain't nothing but a piece of cake. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you'll be able to breeze through this. And I lied because it's like this person coming off, like trying to sneak attack you, maybe like a little mosquito biting you. You know what I'm saying? A, a mosquito is not really going to, you know, um, put you down like that. You feel me? On, the, on, a, on a normal basis, in a normal situation, a mosquito is just not going to like, you know, bite off your whole arm or bite a plug out of you. Make it on, may pull a little bump on you, whatever. That's a little irritating, right? And you could put some on it to soothe it. So that's just where it's like this is gonna be like some something you could just swat, you know, with a fly swatter. Put your off on. Put get your bug spray, or whatever, you know, and get them out. Get them out. Get them out your way. We have number thirty. 
three zero for smiley face. This is joy. See what I'm talking about? Spirit is like, don't let nobody take your joy. Keep your smile on your face. Don't, because there's somebody, okay? You might, <clears throat> for some of you guys, I'm picking up a different scenario. That you might have found somebody that you love. Or you might have found something that you love, okay, with this marriage card, right? Right? You may have uh, gotten involved in a, a connection with another person. And you, you don't spend time with these with these people. This could be a friend for somebody, too, that I'm picking up for somebody. Like, you could be in a marriage, okay? and Or you could be with somebody. Or you could have a new job. Or you're, you're preoccupied. You're doing other things, right? You're, you are preoccupied in a, a different area. And you're not really spending time with this person as much as you used to. And somebody's taking an offense to it, right? And lashing out, talking crap behind your back because they felt like, for somebody, this person may have felt abandoned, right? That's a different scenario that I'm picking up. They may have felt abandoned and they're talking crap behind your back and it gets back to you, right? Because of some success that you've had. So if that's you, Spirit is sending you still too, to focus on your success. Focus on what's working for you. Focus on your blessings and don't let people, you know, because these people are trying to, this is somebody who's actively um, and their agenda is to wipe that smile off your face. So something good has taken place for you or something good will take place for you. And there's gonna be somebody that's around you who's gonna to wanna to wipe that smile off your face. So you're gonna to wanna to see it for what it is, you feel me? Like, <clears throat> at first you might, it may be hard for you to do that, but you that's why this message is coming up because Spirit wants you to see it for what it is, right? See what that person is trying to do. Don't let them win. You feel me? They're trying to play games. Don't let them win at this sick game that they're uh, trying to play. Okay. We have Chariot. It says change ahead. No charge. Wow. Y'all might have. There may be some changes coming up, like change in friendship, change, change in you. Um, Allowing this person to have access to you, being able to call you, being able to text you, being able to visit you, being able to hang out with you. There's going to be a change in the connection between you and another person, right? The dynamics will change. This is, and I'm looking at the clock, I'm hearing time is up. You feel me? Somebody's time is up. And they got to go, period. Chariot, charge ahead. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. So Spirit is telling y'all, okay, when this happened, jump right on over it and keep moving forward, right? We're not letting anybody stop us from our happiness, stop us from, you know, especially if you're creating something, right? Where this, like I said, it could be, hell, it could be a project that you're creating. This person is trying to wipe the smile off your face with, you feel me? It could be a love connection that you just have. You just, you're in that honeymoon phase. You loving it. And you got somebody want to wipe that smile off your face. It could be that you just got a brand new car and you're loving the fact that, hey, I don't have to drive that old, you know, piece of hunk of garbage that I was driving before. Or uh, I don't have to take the the city transit, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the bus or the train or Uber. I don't have to do those anymore because I have transportation. You know what I'm saying? But this is you... Uh, not letting anybody rain, not allowing somebody to rain on your parade, even though they're trying their best to rain on your parade. This is you charging ahead, moving ahead. Like, yo, I'm not just going to hop right over you. They're trying to lay. It's like it's like somebody's trying to lay down in front of you and cause some sort of hindrance in your life or some sort of obstacle. You know what I'm saying? In your life. The spirit is like hop right over them and keep moving, you know? We have pack your bags. Look at you moving on. You feel me? Somebody's moving. Somebody may literally be moving or traveling somewhere else, especially with this with this chariot energy and with the pack your bags. You may be leaving this person, or this could be just this could be a literal a literal interpretation of you leaving, going somewhere, packing your bags, moving, flying somewhere, or driving somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be you metaphorically uh, moving on from somebody, like not dealing with them anymore. Leaving it in the past and just leaving this person, this situation in the dust. This is you. This is adventure and risk. This is you taking the chance. 
diving right on in, you know, and moving ahead with your life and saying, you know what, mm, I'm not going to let this, whatever this, this person, this obstacle, whatever it is, I'm not going to let it stop me for one bit. I'm just going to keep moving. Um, it is what it is. I'm not going to look for no explanation. I don't want to have a conversation. I'm not trying to work nothing now. I accept it and I'm gone. I'm going on to something new, going on to new people. I will get be able to replace this friend with somebody else who actually cares about me and respects me, or I'll be able to place, replace this husband or wife or, or a friend, lover, whatever it is, I'll be able to replace place it, you know what I'm saying, later on down the line with somebody who truly cares about me, you know what I'm saying, like who really respects me, you know. Let's see what your animal tarot says. We have seven of summer, the main coon kitten. These names, bro. The main coon kitten all right so this card says it's time to stop procrastinating and make a decision so that you can move forward why you see what i'm talking about y'all got pack your bags chariot and moving forward and taking an adventure and a risk but it says it's time to stop procrastinating and make a decision so that you can move forward with a priority if you need to do more research then do so but don't overthink the situation. Listen to your heart. So some of you guys, Spirit is telling y'all, uh, there's something that might come out that might help you to make your decision. Once you get the green light to go, go. It's time for you to make, make. you may have been wrestling with some sort of decision that you may have had to make. Um, and you may have been procrastinating on that, not wanting to, to really finalize that decision. But Spirit is wanting you to go ahead and make that decision. Stop sitting on the fence. You already know what you got to do. I'm, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing like the decision has already been made in your mind. You know, you just haven't uh, acted out. You haven't acted on it yet. Right. The decision has already been made up in your mind. So Spirit is like, you already know what you have to do. You already know what you need to do. Do it. Stop procrastinating. Like time. Look, <laughs> every minute we had to live on this earth is precious. Don't waste your time on foolishness or something that you know is not for you. Or, you know, don't waste your time not living your best life is what I'm getting. OK. I'm hearing time is running out with something. Right. But it's time for you to make a decision because. Spirit wants you to enjoy your life, to move forward, right? To to have your happiness, to have your joy, to have your marriage, your connection, your your uh, new job or your new car or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Wants you to to enjoy that and to get away from people who's who doesn't want to see you happy, right? Anybody who doesn't want to see you happy is not your friend, right? That's not that's not somebody that's for you. Unfortunately, it's not. You know, even we may want some people to be for us, but if they can't be happy for you, that's not the person, right? Spirit is saying some of y'all have procrastinated long enough, especially with the clock energy. You procrastinated long enough. Now it is time for you to do what you have to do. The next card we have is Siberian. That's the confirmation right now. It's like, it's time for you to do what you got to do, right? Things will balance out. Things will work out for you. You got to take a chance on yourself. Take a chance on your happiness, your your peace, your serenity, you know, your, your joy, you know? <clears throat> This is 10 of winter uh, with the Siberian Husky. So this card says the end of a career path, project or relationships brings feelings of mixed joy and sadness, relief and disappointment. There's a second time we're seeing the word joy because we saw that on the smiley face card, right? Uh, let me read it again. Uh, the end of a career path project or relationship brings feelings of mixed joy and sadness, relief and disappointment. Put aside your fears about these changes and trust that a brighter future awaits. You see what I'm talking about, you guys? I feel like this is this has been a tough decision, right? Whether it was with your career, you know what I'm saying, your job, uh, whether it was with a personal project that you had going on, a side hustle, or if you're starting something, whatever it was or whether it was a relationship, whether it was a platonic connection, or whether it was a romantic connection, or whether it was a familial connection, you know, whatever it was, okay, it's gonna, it, there's gonna be, it's, it has this, you know, bad parts, like the card says, it has feelings, it's gonna bring feelings of joy, 
sadness, relief, and disappointment. Like it has, it's like a, it's like a, a mix of different emotions. So it, it may very well not be an easy or has not been an easy uh, decision for you to make in this situation. But Spirit is telling you to put aside your fears about changing this and letting this go or take remove any thoughts of like oh my god, the grass ain't greener remove the thoughts of that right you remove those oh my god what if i don't find xyz what if i don't find something better what if i don't da, da, da? like let all that stuff go and believe in you believe your believe in yourself and take a chance on your own happiness and joy right because the spirit says that trust wants you to trust and go with the flow go with these changes right go with the flow if you go with the flow then you're setting yourself up for a lot of uh a lot of new happy energy happiness and joy right a brighter future awaits you if you uh make the decision that you've been procrastinating with and you move forward with your life okay so that's what i got for you guys for this reading if you like it like the video thank you guys for being here and um if this resonated with you please comment in the comment section down below um, if you want to be a part of the fam, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Much love and light to everybody. You guys take care. Ciao.